welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a healthy version of spaghetti using spaghetti squash all right so this recipe is really really easy to make it's not very time-consuming so I'm just gonna go into it show you guys this quick and easy way to make a healthier low-carb version of spaghetti using um, a vegetable instead of the actual noodles so yeah let's go ahead and get into it if you like this video please like and subscribe to my page comment below what videos you guys like to see or any other healthy recipe ideas you guys may have okay Thanks guys, here we go. Before I did the video, I already have my sauce going. It is oh, looking good. Um, I let my sauce sit for about 45 minutes. It literally, I just um, cooked up some lean burger. So it was like 60% lean burger. And then I just put in a can of Prego meat sauce. So that this has been on for like I said, about 30, 45 minutes. So. That's the first thing that I did before I started anything. So the next step, you're just going to want to go ahead and preset your oven to 375 degrees. Perfect. Preset. Okay guys, so I have a little bit of parchment paper and I'm going to put that down on my pan just to make cleanup easier. Um, and sometimes the squash does tend to stick to the pan, so I do recommend using some kind of parchment paper or foil and putting that down before you go ahead and put your squash on. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the ends off of both sides of the squash and then after I cut off the ends you'll see I'm going to go ahead and make a horizontal cut down the middle of the squash now I personally like to cut down the squash more horizontally instead of vertically. Most recipes for spaghetti squash call for a vertical cut, but what I found is that if you cut horizontally, whenever you use your fork to get um, like your, I'll call them noodles, because the spaghetti squash will look like your noodles for your spaghetti, you get a longer, um, just better like looking noodle and it's longer like a normal spaghetti, spaghetti noodle would be when you cut it horizontally versus cutting it vertically. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and gut my spaghetti squash. Um, I just get rid of the insides, but a lot of people like to keep them and roast the seeds that are inside of the squash. I've heard that they are very good. I do want to try it, um, but yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and gut the squash at this point. Moving right along, as you can see, I am putting oil. I put a little bit too much in one, so use some of that for the other side. I'm going to go ahead and oil up both of the sides of the spaghetti squash. If you have one of those cool little brushes that to like apply seasoning or anything, I plan on getting one. I would use a brush to put this oil on, but I did not have one, so I decided to just go ahead and use my fingers. <laughs> After you get the oil in, I'm going to go ahead and grab the seasonings that I'm going to be using, which are some salt, some pepper, and some garlic powder. After you get your squashes all nice and oiled and seasoned up, you are going to place them face down. Make sure that they're face down, okay? Onto your pan and place them in the oven. You're going to go and want them in the oven on 375 degrees for, I put them in for 35 to 40 minutes. At 35 minutes, I'll check them, but to be honest, they are normally not done until a solid 45 to 50 minutes because I get pretty large um, spaghetti squash. So as you saw there, I checked them and they were nowhere near done, so I went ahead and put them back in for
this time they are done and so what you are going to do is go ahead and put your fork in i start just on one side doesn't matter wherever but you're gonna go ahead and put your fork in and just start kind of twirling it like you would if you were gathering regular spaghetti noodles so twirling it and as you twirl as you see the spaghetti squash is breaking apart that looks just like noodles um and so you're just going to continue to do this until it is all the way empty and this will be your final product so you have spaghetti squash noodles with a meat marinara sauce and some garlic bread